why don't you hear more expats online? Um, I'd, I'd actually say it's the same reason as forums. The, the ones that are actually quite successful and normal get-go and going about their daily lives have lost interest in the forums and stuff and this online stuff because they get so much negative stuff come back. I mean, I, I do it purely because... Well, back in 2007, there was a lack of information. Uh, but these days, it's more to do with knowing there's a lot of misinformation. Um, so I'm quite happy to share my knowledge and experience to lower the risk of other people. Um, for example, if you look at Mandari Bridge and the number of deaths relating to expats that have gone off it, um, due to alleged suicides, um, Speaking to somebody actually rented an apartment to somebody did actually go off that bridge that was a suicide. Um, he said it wasn't a suicide. <laughs> um, but it's just sort of letting, letting people know. And I do get flack. I mean, I should actually do a flack list of this, some of the stuff I get. Um, does it bother me? No, uh, not at all. You know, you know what I find amusing is the fact that people need to hide behind a pseudo name and a fake picture or no picture to feel empowered by leaving comments on things like YouTube. Um, for me, it's a side of weakness. Um, myself, you can see, it's my profile pic. It's my name. You know, that's me. Uh, I can understand some people going like, Dave doesn't put his full name, but he's still Dave. You know, at the end of the day, nothing wrong with it. But I would actually be proactive in people actually having to use their real names. It would cut down a lot of the nonsense that is on the web. Because uh, it's unfair. I mean, some there's been stuff on somebody's channel recently which is abusive. And I don't think it's acceptable. I mean, socially, it's, well... Socially these days, it's probably acceptable to go and stab somebody with a screwdriver. Um, but, um, but in my world, it's not acceptable. Um, but that's why a lot of these guys aren't on the internet. They, they exist. Um, I've got some that are in my Facebook that are not on YouTube, they're not on forums, etc. They originally come through to me from my original blog. Um, and I've known them for years. So it's quite funny when people actually turn around and talk to me as if I've met them. <laughs> because obviously they've followed me around since 2007. Um, but sometimes I'm not even aware of them existing. You know, okay, I get a number saying like X amount of 100 people have viewed this. Doesn't tell me who they are. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I wouldn't remember all 600 people or however many it was. Um, so... Yeah, it's quite amusing when people like you could say, "Oh yeah," because I, I, I didn't realize up until recently how many people actually moved to the Philippines because of advice I did between two thousand and seven and two thousand and fourteen, two thousand seven to two thousand thirteen. Um, a lot of people have moved to the Philippines on the advice, and not one person has said it was bad advice everybody's actually thanked me for it which is actually nice to actually have years later after doing it um but yeah a lot of the guys aren't on the internet they just can't be bothered with it they can't be bothered with the sarcasm the bad comments the abuse etc and i don't blame them in some ways in my way you know i think that we should actually stand our ground and sort of just boot out the idiots um so that we can actually have good information because i've been around bef for a long time um i don't know if some of you guys even know what a bulletin boards system is but i used to be involved with bulletin boards uh back in the commodore amiga days i've been over, been on the internet for a very long time <laughs> um but the reality is a lot of good people aren't online and to hunt them down you you'll have to do some research because you might find them in the odd forum or something but very very rarely you know you'll see some of the posts sort of tailored off years ago or something but some the topic they were discussing may have been of use which i would say if it is 
private message them if you can because they'll still be around they just gave up on the forums all right thanks for watching yeah.